am so high maintenance. <laughs> Don't put that in. So what'd y'all do? We built a greenhouse. It took longer than I thought. Pinterest made it look so easy and like a lot of people had done it, built it out of old windows. You know, Pinterest makes everything seem easy. Hey y'all, we are building a greenhouse today. I am super pumped, not only because we're building a greenhouse, but because we are doing it with old windows that we found at a vintage store. I don't know how to do this by myself, so I've recruited my dad. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're burning daylight. <laughs> He's so ready to get started. He's been up since like 6 a.m., not me. So, foundation. We have cleared an area that is super level. We made sure everything was level. And we don't want this greenhouse to be permanently in this spot. We think maybe in a few years we might move it to a different location. And because of that, we are not putting in a very solid foundation. So the first thing that you have to do is dig some cinder blocks into the corners of where your greenhouse is going to go. This is to make sure everything is secure and level, all four corners and in the middle of each one. And then we have these boards that we're laying on top of. <laughs> that thing's just ripped out. <laughs> that we have on top of these <laughs> blocks so that everything is level and ready to go. And then now what are we doing? We're gonna drill a hole, four of them, all the way around it, and we're gonna put in an anchor and drive it down. All right, drive it in, Ivy. All right, perfect. I could certifiably be on the railroad. Have you already messed up? Well, no, we're, um, I wanna make sure it's square with the wall and everything. Dr drill it closer here, because the stud's gonna be out here. Drill I'm not it. drilling it. Okay, oh, that's right, you're not. I'll make sure I drill it right. All right. <laughs> Next are the wall studs. The wall studs. Studs, you're a stud muffin. That's what my mom says. So we are going to do what my dad just called toenailing, which don't ask me what that means. Um, this stud in. Now that we have our stud in, what we have to do is we're gonna put our first window in and keep going down the line so that everything is secure and work our way kind of around the circle of the greenhouse. These are old windows, so some of the panes are broken. We have extra glass panes that we're gonna replace them with later, but we're gonna do that at the end to make sure we don't break any more. It's okay if some of them are broken, just be careful when you're assembling because glass, it's sharp. Let's do it. All right, we are ready for another stud. How many projects have we I, done together? Ivy will have a lot of daddy do projects for me all the time. Bingo. All right, I think I know what I'm doing now. I can build it. All right, here you go. I'm gonna go watch. I need another window. Bingo. Boom, I did one. Just put one in right, right there. We're doing the front now to keep it, keep everything like L brackets really hold it secure. We're putting the door in next to make sure that the door will fit because we can always adjust the windows but we can't adjust the door. So in order to make a video about how to build a greenhouse, we had to do a little bit of prep. So my dad, built it at home in his barn. Then he completely disassembled it and labeled every single window, every single door, numbered it, drew everything, and then brought it all to Birmingham to build it here in my yard. You're doing a fine job. 
if you'll hold your foot here. Okay, I shut it. Yeah. I'm a little concerned right now because the wind is blowing <laughs> and I'm having to hold the door open because we only have one L, one corner of the greenhouse, but he seems to think that everything's going to come together soon. All right, Ivy. So far, I'm holding up stuff more than I'm actually doing stuff. As she says on Southern Talk, I'm fixing to put this screw in. <laughs> Talk Southern to Talk me. Talk Southern to me. Window. <laughs> okay, you're good. Hey, it's not falling anymore. <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, we laid our foundation to make sure everything is level so that we could build the walls to our greenhouse, which are being made out of old vintage windows. We started on a corner and worked our way down the back, then made an L shape so that everything would be sturdy. Then we installed our door and kept going around the back. The back of the greenhouse also has a door, but it is non-functional. Um, because we want everything to be symmetrical on both sides. Since these are old windows, we couldn't find windows that matched the width of the door. So therefore we got a door that matched the width of the door, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Like the video if it made sense. Give us a thumbs up. We are about to start working on level two of the windows and then the roof. Okay. Right, Ivy, let's put the header on that side. Okay. Okay. Should we uh, put a leveler up to it? No. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's set it up. You getting me making faces, Shelby? For greenhouses to properly work, they need ventilation. So we're gonna hinge, instead of screwing the windows in like we've been doing for the rest of them, we're gonna hinge them so that they can be pushed open from the inside out. All right, let's put a hinge on. Hey, look at that. All right, that's good. That's where you want to put it. Purdy. Yeah. Push at the top, Ivio. There you go. Roofs are hard. Rafters, we had to put those in. Do you know what a rafter is? It's the part that's like this, that goes and you put the roofing on. And so when you think about it, there's like a beam that goes from the front to the back of the greenhouse. But then you have to have perpendicular rafters that support it on either side. Slanted because obviously the rain has to fall off of it. I'm putting some brackets to hold the roof rafters in place just to um, make sure that the rafters are secure to this um, beam right here. This, um, this idea that I had was a good one, but Pinterest makes things look a lot easier than they really are in real life. That's all I got to say about this. It's the end of day one. We thought we could do it in a day. We cannot. We're losing light. 
And it's fine because we're hungry. We need dinner. We're ready. Um, we have done a lot today. We have done all of the walls of the greenhouse complete with hinged windows on this side. The roof rafters are up. We have to secure them tomorrow with hurricane brackets to make sure that the rafters are secure to the high beam. Then tomorrow, after we put our brackets up, we're going to um, secure our roofing material, which is going to be some like plexiglass, not plexiglass. Um, corrugated roofing material. Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to put up some corrugated roofing material. I was hoping for some windows. We may or may not get to those. We can do those later. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to eat dinner and get a good sleep. It was something. <laughs> it took three days. Two of which were filmed, one was not filmed. Uh, it was nuts. Good morning, we are on day two of the greenhouse build out of old windows. I am working on deglazing some of these windows so that I can pull the panes out to replace some of the broken ones. We took this window from a spare window that we had and we got it all clean and we're going to pop it in and then reglaze it. And when you're done, if you want to take a putty knife and kind of dress it up, we could go into the greenhouse making business. Uh, I think I'll just stick with now that you're you. But you're retired. We've got to find you uh, something retired to Retired means you go traveling and do things and help your daughter with greenhouses. Cool. What project can I come up with next? I'm sure you will find something for me to do. Okay, what I'm doing is I need one more rafter and I've already determined the angle. And so I'm marking it, fixing the cut it, fixing to. When you use your rafter as a jig, always use the first one you cut. Uh, don't use the second one, third one, fourth one, because at the end you will be off quite a bit. So always use the first one. So I have to put in these handles and these um, hooks, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word, hook and eye, so that the windows will stay shut when I want them to. Hey y'all. Look at that. I made a functioning window. Okay, this has been a lot of work, but we have the rafters on and then we have these cross beams that are going on top of the rafters so that we can screw the polycarbonate roofing material, which is like metal roofing, but it's clear plastic strong plastic onto these cross beams just to um, make sure that the roofing material is supported horizontally and vertically. And we've kind of measured everything. Don't worry, we'll give you exact measurements at the end for this particular greenhouse. All right, if you'll flush it up at the end, I'll finish up. You ready? We are painting and roofing. I wasn't going to paint this, but A, I wasn't gonna paint it white. I wanted it to be green, like a dark emerald green. Um, but I decided white would be easier because most of my windows were already white. So all I had to paint was the exposed wood colors. And I wanted to go ahead and do it just because we're putting the roof on today and the wood was gonna be exposed and there was like no way to paint underneath the roofing material. 
So I just decided to go ahead with the white paint. Um, and I think it's gonna look great. I mean, like maybe one day like some ivy will grow and it'll be really, really cool. So painting is not my favorite thing to do, but alas, here I am. Once we got the rafters up and painted, that was a task. You're aware of that. <laughs> you did it too. I painted the whole right side of the greenhouse though on the roof by myself. 98% of it, I painted it. It was, I'm proud of that. Anyway, the plastic material on top of the roof. We put polycarbonate plastic-ish roofing material on top of it and that's kind of just to help the rain. <gasps> we are done. It took a whole day longer than we anticipated, but that's because I got a wild hair and decided I wanted to paint it midway. It looks good. What do you think? I like it. And I guess that's it. Greenhouse, white house, whatever color house you want to call it, it's going to grow some plants amazingly. That's a wrap. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and ring the bell. Oh yeah. All of those things. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all.